Welcome back all you OGs out there, whether you're an online gamer, an original gangsta, or just an old geezer like me. This is Yuli1961 for Old Gamers Never Die, coming at you once again from New World, and guess what? <laughs> the Great Depression has hit. The bank is closed. We have temporarily disabled all forms of wealth transfer between players, i.e. spending currency, guild treasury, trading post, player to player trading. See the forum, and the forum basically says, until we can figure out how to fix this gold duping process that people have been exploiting, the trade post is going to be shut down. That means you're kind of stuck with what you got. Now, <laughs> what are we going to do? It's the Great Depression. Oh my God, everything's going to fall apart. Well, nah, here's the thing. Let history teach us a lesson here. Let's get logged in here and I'm going to give you some advice on what to do while the bank shut down so that you can be prepared when it opens back up because it will open. Sooner or later, they're going to figure out this exploit and how to get it straight and they're going to deal with the people and frankly i applaud amazon for shutting the whole thing down and waiting I, I mean even if they shut the whole game down to fix it this is something that you know it's like why can't we have nice things you got to have people that cheat to get ahead for what reason it's a freaking game but you know whatever people have used it as an exploit and it's been in there since what i understand since the game launched and some people have really put the whole game at risk because of the way that breaks the economy and pvp and everything else because now you have infinite gold instead of what you were meant to be with the game so anyway regardless of the reason for it it's here the bank shut down there is no trading you can't move your stuff and the stuff that you've got in the bank well guess what i've been watching all day long as my sales orders have expired and all that stuff is going back into my inventory so what are we going to do about it well we, you can sit and complain <laughs> and think that oh god this is this is the end of the world you can say you know screw amazon and new world i'm out i'm not doing this what can you do well here's what we can do whether you're a new player or level 60 right now what you need to be doing is making sure that anywhere you've got a place to put stuff you can put it there right so if you're a brand new player and you've just gone to your first city great Grab the missions you can get there and get the heck out and go to the next city because every city you go to is going to have storage for you. And if you can get there and open that storage up, then you've got a place to put stuff. Because what I'll tell you is <laughs> history is going to repeat itself. When the bank finally opens, all the folks out here who've been going around and collecting resources and doing the quest and, and farming the, the best stuff out there are going to be running to sell it. And guess what? They're going to all be selling at the same time. And you don't want to be that person that's trying to sell stuff because what's going to happen is it's going to drop the prices tremendously. You know, this morning I was trying to sell fiber and it was selling for 0.15 gold and dropping. When this thing starts back up, you're going to see fiber and hide and all those things that everybody has been stockpiling because they can right now, they got nothing else to do with it, suddenly surge into the market. And when that happens, it's going to drop the price to the basement. Okay, so now, oh God, what am I going to do, Yuli? I got all this fiber and I got all this hide and all my orders that I had in the trading post are all coming back at me and filling up my storage in my locations. Well, that means you need to get the heck out and go get some more storage. Go to the other towns. If you spawned in as a new character in Everfall, it's not a very long run to get down here to Windsward. And it's not that dangerous, even for a brand new person. Same thing goes with Monarch Bluff and First Light and even Cutlass Keys. You can do this path and open up every single one of those cities pretty quickly. And now you've got some additional storage that you can put stuff in as this thing rolls on. I don't know how long it's going to last. Maybe they'll have it fixed tomorrow. Maybe it'll be a week. But at the end of the day, what will happen is everything that people are getting a hold of right now is going to flood into the trading post. And when it does, you don't want to be the guy trying to sell it. You want to be the person trying to buy it. That's the leverage. So there's two things I want you to do, especially you new people that are out there and you're you're just trying to play the game. And now this has happened and you're like, what? What the heck? Why am I doing this? If this is what we're going to do, why am I even playing this game? Well, the game is still fun and it, and it can be fixed. So don't give up. Take this opportunity to get ahead. So this is what I would suggest. As I said, first, go as many towns as you can get to. And honestly, you can even go into areas where you probably 
wouldn't normally go yet. So maybe you're a new character and you haven't been to Brightwood yet because it's kind of dangerous and it's level 26 to 36. Get on the road and run. You can pretty much outrun most stuff, especially if, you know, you just take off and don't try to stop and pick up stuff while you're doing it. Just freaking run and get to the town. And, you know, when you get in there, you'll open up that extra storage. If you're a middle of a character and you've, you know, kind of been, well, I don't know if I'm ready to go to Reekwater yet, go. Get on the road and run. Every area that you can get to that's got a storage area, get there. Make sure you open them all up so you've got places to put your stuff. And the second thing I'll tell you to do Indeed. is do every mission that you can do that's going to get you victor, money so if it's going to get you 100 gold or if it's going to get you 20 gold do them try to get them in clusters so you can kind of bust through the map and go through things and not have to sit there and try to figure out oh well you know i don't have time to go from uh here all the way over here at, at monarch's bluff and go do these well just get over here and do all the stuff that you can get over here keep grabbing missions and do everything you can to build your gold supply the piece that goes along with the missions is get the map IO that you can go to and look at where all the resources are, find out where all the chests are in the area that you're gonna play in and loot chests. I mean, loot the heck out of them. If you've got luck gear that you can put on, put it on. Get everything you can out of chests right now because that stuff can be valuable to sell later. The final thing I'll tell you to do is as you're doing that, don't forget to keep harvesting. You know, I've got the video out on Monarch's Bluff. I have one that'll be coming out out within the next 24 hours on Everfall on how to farm resources that will get you money when the bank opens back up and the trading post is out there for everybody to use. Once the initial surge goes through and it, everything kind of starts settling back out, you're going to want to still have those high dollar resources in your storage locations. So don't give up on farming hyssop. Farming hyssop is a great way to get those herbs and spices that will be sellers when it comes to that. The rush aspect of the game is open and people are gonna be looking for high level healing potions and mana potions. So if you're in a place where your arcana is up and you can make that stuff, start stockpiling it. Get it ready so that when this thing opens, you can go ahead and sell it because people are still going to play Rush. And if you've got a server that's very active and people are playing it, then they're going to keep playing it and they're going to run out of stuff. And so they're going to be looking for people with high in arcana to make the, the backup, the infused health and the powerful health or strong health. So go ahead and make some. It's not going to hurt you because you can't do anything else with the resources. You can't put them in the, in the, in the bank. And at least if you're making finished goods, it takes up less space in your inventory. So those are the things that I would suggest you get out there and do right now. Do as much of it as you can. And then the last thing, when you get, when this thing turns back on, don't follow the panic train. You've built the stuff. It's in your inventory. You don't have to sell it right away. Watch the market. See where it goes. If you've got something out there that you want to progress in, say you want to be the best leather worker in the world, I guarantee you hide is going to be dirt cheap. Buy it then with the gold that you've got. And you can use it to level up or you can bank it, stick it in one of your storage areas somewhere and wait till the price comes back up. Same thing with fibers, with food, all those things that you're making right now because you got nothing else to do other than questing, get it ready, get it ready and put it in the bank and be ready when this thing kicks back in. I promise you, you won't regret it. It will not hurt to have as much storage as you possibly can. It will not hurt to run as many missions to get gold as you possibly can. It will not hurt to go ahead and harvest stuff and put it in storage and have it ready to go. So all those things that I'm recommending that you do, none of it is gonna hurt you. It will help you because if, let's just say, okay, let's just say we turn the thing back on and nothing changes. That fiber's still, you know, between 0.20 and one gold or two gold, whatever. Great, you got plenty of it to sell. If it's way dirt cheap, well, hold on to your stuff, buy the stuff that's dirt cheap, add it to yours and either refine it to the next level or the next level after that, or have the storage so you can hold it for a while until the market settles back out. It'll be okay. <laughs> the game will survive. And what you need to do is make sure that you're gonna come out on top at the end. If you remember the movie, It's a Wonderful Life, one of the things that old Potter said to George was, when the depression came, we didn't panic. And what he did was bought everything up for pennies on the dollar. And guess what? You're going to be able to do the same thing. So relax, do the stuff that's going to put you in a good position and be ready to go. Have fun, do the missions, do rush, do whatever you want to do, PVP, and build your wealth. Just like you would if there was no trading post and it was a single player game. And then when the bank opens back up, you'll be in a position to cash in. 
just don't panic. And remember, jumping off a bridge ain't gonna help. <laughs> you'll, you'll take a little bit of damage and you'll still be here. Okay, well, that's it for this little session. I thank you very much for dialing in. Please give us a like. Make sure that if you enjoy the videos on Old Gamers Never Die, that you hit that big red rectangle, subscribe to our channel, and I will have more videos out on New World as it comes up. Y'all stay safe, and this is Yuli signing out.